Hello, this is Uwe. I'm making a small video to show how a Juki 441 class machine, in this case a Cowboy 4500, makes a stitch. I made a plexiglass throat plates with needle feet so I can remove the um, feet dog and this allows us to see what is going on so the camera that is recording is a macro lens. This is the view that we'll see and I'll switch over to that now. So here's the view from the macro lens that points right at the hook area and I'm going to make a few forward stitches so we can observe how the hook catches the loop so you can see the tip of the hook moving back the needle goes down moves up a little the thread forms a loop and the point of the hook goes right in the center of it so this is pretty good needle to hook timing and if I switch from forward to reverse you can see that the needle does not really move much at all so the hook timing will be the same both in reverse and forward. So I'm making a few forward stitches and the thread gets wrapped around one more time. So the needle moves back as the hook moves forward and the point of the hook goes right in the middle of the loop that forms. So it wraps the thread around the hook then back here there's an opening that the thread moves smoothly up as the thread take-up lever tightens the stitch and we can go forward one more time. It catches just a little bit because I'm doing it extremely slowly. So I'm switching to reverse and this is at maximum stitch length and you can see that the hook tip barely clears the thread as it's in the far back position. Both move forward actually and then the hook catches the loop at the same position and sometimes Ah, now it's happening. So the hook, the thread gets caught and so oh, I'm glad I just actually recorded that. So this causes a problem actually on my machine when I'm doing reverse and the thread gets caught and snags and does not pull up smoothly. Now it just snapped and this causes on occasion loops at the bottom. So one more time. Let me just uh, focus a little. So the tip of the hook barely clears the thread. Both of them go forward and the hook catches and catches the thread. And I think this is where it sometimes gets pulled. Aha, uh -huh. this is how it's happening the thread gets pushed in between the race and the hook. I uh, didn't catch this time but you could see it how it gets pushed forward. One more time. Now it actually skipped that stitch. Let me try that again. So it's kind of tight um, clearances in reverse and Sometimes the thread catches, so the tip of the hook, and now it would miss a stitch again. I'm backing up a little bit. So in this machine, the reverse at full stitch length has an issue. It wants to skip stitches and sometimes the thread gets pushed in between the shuttle and the shuttle race and causing skipped stitches or loops at the bottom. So I think on my machine I have to adjust the um, rotation of the hook a little bit because it does not go far enough back in the maximum reverse position to really clear the thread 
and if both of them move forward sometimes it just misses the stitch right now it's okay again because it's doing it very slowly again it's pushing it into the channel though of the race and it didn't snag this time but occasionally it does snag and causes loops at the bottom of the stitch line So it's not a problem if I make the stitch length smaller, so I'm just going to reduce the stitch length a little bit in reverse and do a few stitches. So now you can see that the needle comes down not as far back and the hook easily clears the thread and as both move forward the hook very positively catches this loop. There's no question about it here. It is also less likely to push the thread inside the race channel and less likely to cause snags and problems. So this is still reverse here. Less than maximum stitch length. Let's switch to rev forward one more time. Make a few stitches at less than maximum stitch length. very smoothly and everything moves exactly like it's supposed to. And one more time going to full stitch length in reverse just so we can see the difference here. The needle comes down way in the back and the tip of the hook doesn't even quite get far enough back to catch the loop. It does this time, but it also wants to push the thread into that channel of the race. Anyways, this is how my Cowboy 4500 makes stitches and how it's sometimes causing problems in reverse at maximum stitch length.